Hello again, Cedar Ridge Timberwolves. I've got a few back to school updates so that everybody makes sure they're prepared for uh, the first day of school because we have a few things that have changed uh, to ensure safety and just make thing, to make things run uh, smoother for our first day. School drop off time is 7.30. Uh, students do not need to be dropped off any earlier than 7.30. That's when the teachers will be on campus. Buses will uh, drop off as well at 7.30. All traffic coming through the high school and middle school will have to come through the south entrance. That's the large uh, entrance beside the central administration office. Traffic flow will come uh, through the main entrance and then drop off will be at the front of the high school underneath the awning. Traffic flow will continue uh, around the half circle drive by the cafeteria and middle school and back out onto Hill Street which would be the north entrance. Uh, I know in the past some people have dropped off at the middle school, but the gym parking lot, the entranceway to the gym, will be blocked off uh, to increase uh, safety and uh, making sure that students all come through the main doors at the front. So no students will be able to be dropped off at the gymnasium in the morning. All traffic will come through the main entrance beside central uh, office. On the first day of school, all students, football players and ag students included, will need to come through the front doors. We are going to run a revised schedule on the first day of school where all students will go to advisory. And so then we will talk about a few things there. That's where schedule changes would occur, uh, just kind of the generic basic back to school questions that students might have. So we'll run a revised schedule. All students will go to advisory on the first day of school. So all students need to come through the front doors and then we will continue our uh, periods after that first period, second period throughout the rest of the day. As students come into the building through the front doors, their temperature will be taken. We have two different machines and a handheld temperature gauge which will be used. Uh, students will be taken, have their temperature taken and then they will go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria will be grab and go breakfast. So they will pick up their breakfast and then they will go to their first period class or on the first day of school they will go to their advisory class. Advisory lists will be posted uh, in the foyer and commons area in the cafeteria lots of different places for students to find their advisory class and where that will be located at uh, another big change is uh, due to covid restrictions water fountains are not allowed to be used schools in the process of getting filling stations so that they may fill water bottles but they won't be ready by the time school starts so students are encouraged to bring large uh, refillable water bottles throughout the day or two smaller bottles. Water bottles will also be uh, sold in the vending machines at school and out of the office. So we'll try to have a, a filling station of some sort. We also have one of the uh, automatic, automated filling stations in the cafeteria for students to fill their water bottle. So you need to make sure you bring something uh, for water because water fountains will not be an option. Students are required to wear a mask when social distancing cannot occur. Uh, the cafeteria situation, the tables are spaced out. There will be four to a table. We will also have tables in the commons area outside the library. We have plenty of places for uh, students to stay, uh, space out and uh, eat uh, safely according to COVID guidelines. Lunch may not be dropped off for your student in the office. Uh, if your student wants to bring their lunch, they can, uh, but they need to bring it with them. It cannot be dropped off. And uh, this is a closed campus this year. All students are required to stay on campus uh, for lunch. Another change is after school pickup. All students will be picked up in the gym entrance or parking lot. Uh, so the gym entrance that's north of the building, all students will be picked up there. You will have to come through the main entrance by the central administration office. You'll have to go around by the tennis courts and you will park either in the parking lot or in line up at the gym entrance. Uh, once everyone is picked up before the buses uh, load and leave, the barrier that's at the gym entrance will be removed and traffic will exit out onto Hill Street from the gym uh, and then whichever direction you need to uh, turn to go home. So no pickup after school behind the building. 
So behind the gym, behind the high school, no students will be picked up there. All after school, middle school, and high school students will be picked up at the gym. Uh, so if you have any more questions about uh, logistics or how things are going to go the first day of school, uh, my name is Chris Davis. I'm the assistant high school principal, and you can call up to the school uh, or come by and visit. Uh, we are going to require you to wear a mask and social distance if you come by the office, and it would be best practice if you, if you needed to have a visit to call ahead of time uh, before you come in. Thank you, and have a great day.